So in the Jeva Dharma, if you can see the chapter number 2, in the chapter number 2, it is actually described what is the purpose of uh, Lord Shiva coming as Adi Sankaracharya to really bring this Advaita, Advaita or Mayavada in, to, to this world. Okay? But however, as I mentioned, at the very end of his life, so he wanted to reveal the final truth is Krishna is a Supreme. <laughs> So, Bhaja Govindam, that is what we do, Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, that we do. Okay. So, with that, I would like to invite Madan Mohini to start this uh, Bhaja Govindam. Worship Govinda, worship Govinda, worship Govinda, oh fool. Muda means is fool. And why? Because you are actually trying to read here, there, oh, this kind of all kinds of knowledge. What is the use of all these things? That's what it's saying. Rules of even grammar will, will not save you at the time of your death. Nahi nahi rakshati. It is not going to save when sannihite kale. So sannihite kale means at the time of death. Because death is coming every day. Every day, single day, right? So the sun is coming up and we got a day to really spend. How we are spending that day? Are we really spending for, for that so that we prepare for our next life? Or we are really spending our day and night only to satisfy our senses and just passing every birthday is coming and, and many that is another another foolish thing is celebrating one's own birthday is another foolish thing. Because what is the thing what is the thing to celebrate? Because we are all fallen down in, in on this earth. Wow, what is the point in celebrating? So that is nonsense actually. This is British people came and then spoiled everybody. That was not the way that we are supposed to do. So here specifically saying that, yes, death is coming. It can be any time. It's not necessarily that, you know, you have to wait until, until you know, you become 80 or 90 or 100 years and then, then die. No, it can come any time. Any time. So you have, this is what he's finally, last minute he was, this is what he was composing. He says, Muda Jani, <laughs> Muda Jani, O fool. Dana Gama Trishnam. Give up your thirst to amass wealth. Hmm? Give up your thirst to amass wealth. But what we should do? You should devote your mind to the thoughts, to the, to the real. What is real? This money and this all these things, this world is not real. It can come, you see, today you, may, you are rich and then tomorrow you may become pauper. Next birth, because especially there is another, you know, there, there, was a, there was a story they used to tell. There was one, one king, he really came and then asked a saint, please give me blessing. So he gave the, the blessing saying, oh king, you should not die. Then you should not die. You have to be, you know, you have to live here. And then another one who came, who was actually a devotee, said devotee is very, very good. I mean, he was, he is a Krishna Bhakta. And, this, and the sages said, 
you can live or live uh, or you can live or die no problem no problem that's what the my my, my blessing is you can live or die no problem and then a butcher you know the one who really you know kills all the animals for the for, for the meat hmm for the meat so he came and then he also asked and he gave said he told you should you should not die you should not live you should not die and you should not live live why he should not live is making sense why he should not die because after death he is going to be horrible to hell because of his action whatever the karma he is doing he is actually going to be hell sure shall the hell so why for the the king he said you sh- you should not die then because king in this world whoever is rich the next birth going to be to be opposite because you, because the according to the karma we are really enjoying in this life and the bad karma is also there it's it hasn't come to to us yet so the next birth yes we will be pauper again so we so, so then the king cannot enjoy he cannot have that many or uh, that many queens or something he cannot have any more so he is going to be pauper so he, that's why the sadhu said you should not die because if he dies then he is going to be <laughs> he, is, he cannot enjoy right so now in this one muda jana muda jani hmm, what dana gama trishnam you really have so much of thirst to amass wealth but that is wrong kuru sat buddhi manasi vitrish vitrishnam so you have to devote your mind to the thoughts of the real what is real this money will go away today it comes and tomorrow it will go somewhere else somebody else will have the money so ella base nija karma patham vittam tena vinodaya chittam that means whatever that we got because of my our past karma whatever that is allocated for us to have you just be satisfied with you have to be satisfied with so be content with what comes through your your action because of the past karma only you are either suffering or whatever that is there but let us not mess that up again so you have to be satisfied so that is the second shloka navi stana bhara navi desha नारी स्तनवर नाविदेशम डू नॉट गेट ड्राउंड इन डेलुशन बाय गोइंग वाइल्ड विथ पैशंस एंड लस्ट बाय सीइंग अ वुमन हम बाय सीइंग वुमन यू आर रियली यू नो पीपल गेट सो मैड हम नारी स्तनवर नाविदेशम त्रिश्वा माग मोहा वेशम सो जस्ट बाय सीइंग अ वुमन यू गेट सो वाइल्ड but what is the nature yetan mamsa vasadi vikaram this body is only flesh and bones and fat and blood this this is what you have to understand on what you have this kind of lusty desires on this flesh this blood and urine and the bones do not fail to remember this again and again in your mind hmm yetan mamsa vasadi vikaram so basically all this flesh and blood all those things are vikaram this is not real manasi vichindaye varam varam repeatedly again and again i am telling you in your mind you have to understand you are really going after flesh and fat and blood this is this nonsense 
This life, our life is, <laughs> is what? How is the life is actually in this world? <laughs> Did we plan first of all? And when, when we should come to this world? Did we plan? And also are we planning when we have to really, really get out? So our life is like, Jalamati Taralam. Dalagata means, this Dala means, it's actually a lotus leaf. Because if you see the lotus leaf, raindrops fall on it. <laughs> right? Raindrops fall on it. But then, then what happens? That, that lotus, lotus leaf will be actually because of the wind, it will be, it will be just totally here and there. So what will happen to that drop there? It will be also totally. Yeah, any time it can, it can fall down. Isn't it? Because we don't really belong to this, this, this world. Did you plan? Did you plan that you have to be born here in North Carolina, in this family, on this side? Did you plan? No, you didn't plan. You are forced because of your karma. So this is the reality. So what we have to really, really to think about is our life in this world he is like a rain drops on a lotus leaf. Rains are drop, falling and it's rolling out. And rolling out and rolling out. Comes and goes and comes and goes. It is so temporary. Hmm? And not only that. During that time where we are born and then before the, our death. What is happening? We, vidi vyadi. Vyadi abhi managrastam. So many diseases. If you see the CDC, if you see the CDC, that's a that's a national data database of all the diseases. Because I was working on one project also a long time back. There are five thousand that time five thousand diseases. Now probably fifty five hundred diseases or something. So many diseases, five thousands of diseases are all written. So we are prey to diseases. Hmm. And then we really try to recover from one disease and because of the drugs and everything that we used to used to really suppress that disease, something else comes. Your kidney is gone now. Then the kidney replacement. And kidney replacement, when you do, oh, then you have all kinds of fever comes and then finally now you have to go, go in the medication. Can you stop it? Birth, disease, old age and death. There is no solution. And now, even if you try to really take care of your own body, what about your mind? Ego comes. Grief comes. Unnecessarily for nothing we worry. Unnecessary for nothing. But you will be worrying. Hmm? Grief for nothing. Whether you, you, you worry or not, worry will also come. And now what happens? You may be thinking, I am not going to die. I am really healthy. I am doing every day. I am doing exercise, exercise. But again, the old age is going to come. No? Then you cannot even do any more exercise. What will you do then? Hmm? Somebody else will come and then do that? Again, how long? How long you will be able to, to sustain that way? No. Our, our body will give problem. 5,000, whatever that many diseases are, we are prone to. And by the way, there was a news actually came just a few days back that like uh, it's worse than COVID, there is, there is going to be another, another big thing is actually coming. I don't know whether it's true or not. Another research saying whoever has taken the vaccination for the COVID, now their immune system is completely knocked down and they don't have any more immunity. This is another report coming. 
this world is solved so much a problem hmm so vidhi vyadhi yabimana grastam our mind gives problems even if your body is not giving problem your mind is also not giving problem for some time neighbors will give problem government will give problem and guy and the terrorists will give problem war comes just like that look at the whole world all of us are just like that comes and then look at here you know this you know one country comes and then smashes the other country and then there we unexpected things happen and any time some some crazy guys who really press the uh, press the nuclear you know that ball one button finish this whole world is finished we are at the risk this world is not something to enjoy here hmm and old age what happens because nobody wants to nobody wants to get old but what is the reality ah old age knocks on our door are i am coming here and you you are old age coming to my ami no i don't want old age i don't care whether you want or not i will come inside he will catch you you cannot do anything you cannot put any security or lock or something to to stop your you know from your old age it will come this is the thing especially in the beginning 10 years then after you don't have to worry about anything you just you know play all the time play toys these everything that is it then once you get into the school and college and then you know what the life is terrible terrible simply terrible and the way nowadays the college you know college students are really going through it's really hell is this is the nature of this world Mm-hmm. So that's what he is saying. Lokam soka katham cha samastam. This world is full of war. We are prey. <laughs> prey means you know, we are. We can be caught any time with disease, ego, and grief. Mm-hmm. Soka means grief. So what can we do? Mm-hmm. This is why. What is the? Re- he is putting the reality. So we have to understand that. Yes, then only you have vairagya, because this what this why I am I really chose this to be really discussed today is this bhajan going to be so good, it gives us vairagya. Especially suppose somebody really wants to take a renounce life, you just read this, that is it. You automatically get the vairagya. This is so high. So uncertain is the life of man as raindrops on a lotus leaf. and you should know that this whole world huh, remains a prey to disease ego and grief if you are living here ya vaiti to paichana sai ka ta pali jabadi vaiga da ta ya vaiti to paichana sai ka ta pali jabadi vaiga yavat bitto parjana sakt hai as long as as long as you are you, you are fit you have a strong body you have a health body and you are able to support you, 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 your family because you can work you can earn some income as long as you can do you are everybody will come to you you have so many friends you will have parties these and that everything will come hmm? they will show up automatically they will show up hmm? but what is the thing again pachaji jeevati jarjara dehe jarjara means this body which has hundreds of jarjar jarme means is uh, joints joints some so many hundreds hundred joints are there the joints will give away you cannot move you cannot walk you will be crooked and this and you cannot breathe it will come <laughs> it will definitely come but now 
not we are not we, we are not going through that that is why we are able to at least spend some time to hear about this the, about our our this situation the harikatha but when you really become that old we cannot even get up you will be will be better written that time what happens pachadi jeevati jarjara dehe when the jarjara means this all the joints are or very getting weak dehe means this body vartam ko api na prichati gehe everybody will neglect you hmm? no one at home cares to even have a word with you when your body totters due to old age but as i said can you stop old age can you put in front of your door you know you know old age no no entry for old age you cannot it will come you to knock the door old age is you cannot do anything with that disease you cannot do anything birth also you go, you can't do anything and disease also you can't do we you try to protect but you know all all right purest water purest of these purest of these everything and somewhere some goop up will be there and small these boom it goes in and then you get diarrhea this that everything comes there isn't it this is the this is a reality so old age he is here mainly he is talking about the old age are you preparing for that that is why the pragalad maharaj is saying that right starting from 5 years old you have to be to be practicing devotion otherwise it's not going to work you become nastika why all this material science whatever that we are all you know learning from schools and colleges what good is that are they teaching any any one of you who is atma what is atma what is god what is the relation between and what will happen why we were born and why we are getting diseases by everything old age why old age comes oh you know no, we will try to do something about it all right no problem science will always improve and you know you know what they have really done it is really happening it is there these guys formed a big company and they declared anyone who really dead here bring in the body you know we will put them put the body in the refrigerator after 5000 or 10000 or 100000 whatever i don't know what it is years after there will be some technology that will come which can make this body to come back to life oh some fools even even believe that Oh, all right. You can do this many installation installments. Okay, every year you pay this much, and when you die, uh, you know your body will be put in here. And of course, there's so much of electricity is wasted on these bodies, dead bodies. Thousands of thousands of bodies are really put in this these sub sub coolers. Hmm. How they are cheating? And these guys also not going to be there after uh, after hundred years. and who is going to take care of what kind of insurance what what kind of payment that you are actually going to take not only that even the moon they are selling properties there the real estate is going on there see foolish this is the foolish people but anyway in this one specifically it is talking about our situation right now when we are young we are everybody will be good friends and friends and friends are facebook give me your facebook this thing and i want to try adding my my profile boom boom okay add that exchange these hare or that i think we have some party this and everything but if you really try to say that you know i am going to be old and i am now i cannot really you know talk about that i am really now i am 85 whatever 90 years if he, as soon as he comes to know your facebook account you know your the entry will be he will delete your account because oh, why this old man why do we need to talk to him isn't it this is that this is the truth ya bhavano vivakati dehe tavat chati kushanam dehe ya
you are alive you are healthy all your family members everybody will inquire about you yavat pavano nivasati dehe tavat prichati kushalam keke kushalam means inquire they will all hey how are you are you doing fine okay can i help you this everything okay it's good all everything everybody will inquire about your your health everything how are you doing how are you doing huh right your your christmas you know christmas you know greeting will come new year greeting will come uh, you know then 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 your you know marriage party invitation will come and also reserve the day how oh, this day that will also come to you because as long as you are alive and also well to do and even when you become old what happens nobody nobody bothers you so especially when you depart this this body you know this is the situation which is very funny i will tell you right next to next to our our home in india there was one man and wife so the man actually died and the car is there waiting for some other relatives to come so that they can give some give the you know the uh, the uh, bury bury the body so they were waiting and it has to cross one night that night we have to cross and you know what happened that his own wife did not enter that room where the corpse was this is his her own husband upright oh no 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 i don't want to go she is upright of course he also died after after few years now everybody is gone but look at what it is saying is gadavati vayo deha paye when that vayu whatever the soul is calling like that vayo deha paye when it has really gone out of this body bariya bipyati tasmin kaye bariya means who is one wife bipyati tasmin kaye no that dead body he he doesn't he is getting afraid even his wife runs away in fear of the carbs dead body see beautiful look at the look at how he is is bringing all the realities this is the beauty about this this geeta gets bhaja govindam so if you want really vairagya especially to renounce from this world especially you want to have a detached life in this life in this world from in this life this is going to be give you so much vairagya चाइल्डुड and then you grow up now you are getting attracted to a woman taruna stavat taruni satha the taruna this youth the man is lost stavat taruni to another woman attached taruni satha so his energy is also gone because they are now you know busy in making making family and children everything that is what is all the energy is gone there correct then what about afterwards you grow again old age what is old age It means that is where you you really struggle struggle and struggle and work and work you don't have any time to think anything about because work is you know you people nowadays nowadays work like they have only 24 hours a day but they want to work to even more than that because they have to pay for the mortgage you know they have big bangla 
But unless you really have two jobs or three jobs, how will you pay for it? So you buy a big bungalow and then work and then, you know, that's it. Just for, for keeping it, you, you work in many jobs. This is the situation. And then you get old. What will you be thinking? You will be thinking because you cannot do any, any more work. You get retired. And in the retired, what will you be thinking? You will be thinking about what you did in the, in the youth and all the time, whatever that you can remember. Past things. Vritta Stavaj Chinda Sattaha. Your Satta, your energy will go in Chinda. You are thinking about your past things. Hmm. This is this is the pa 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 past time, you know, right? Isn't it? You know, after retirement, or you know, or, or you cannot work anymore. Morning, you really take you take some cup of coffee, and the newspaper will come. Read the newspapers, and then you think about what you have accomplished. Hey, I was a, I was an executive in that company. I was I have really done this because that's what <laughs> that is how they 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 spend their their pastime. <laughs> that's a pastime. Hmm? Remembering all those, telling everybody, and then when you try to tell everybody, yeah, hey, you know what? I was doing this. I was doing that. Okay, maybe not the few days he will come and then talk to you. Then after that, you will same story again coming and coming. They won't even come to talk to you anymore. So this is a problem. Yeah, he is an old man. You know, he always talking about oh, all these, they everything. And old man, you know, people won't really come to talk. See? So this is the old age is also spent lost in thinking about all the past things. Alas! <laughs> Ayyo! <laughs> what is there? See, we haven't done anything to think about our God. We haven't done anything. We did not prepare anything for our next life. Are you are going to die now. Because childhood, too early to think about God. Then youth, too busy. Too, you know, no time to think about God because too busy. And then after that, what happens again? Because youth means, you, are, you know, you have a wife and children and these and these, dropping them to this, this program, that program, that school, this school, this. That's how you are spending the time. And earning, of course, as much to, to pay for your mortgage. And then the old age comes, what happens now? You are now in a situation where you are, you are because, the, the, you know, you cannot hear, you cannot see properly. And you are now spending your time to take care of your health. Every month, one time, one week, week you check, we check up in the, yeah, there in the hospital. Because BP is high, diabetes is going crazy here. You cannot eat this one, you cannot eat that one. So you'll be always, you know, trying to manipulate in such a way, how I can bring all my diabetes, you know, sugar levels and BP level, everything. So, and you read only what, spending the time in only, look at here, it's bad. So we have to think only about you, about the Lord, because we are anyway going to die. Hmm? Alas, hardly there is any, any time now. Lost. All the times lost. And what I should have done? I should have prepared for the next life, which I don't have time anymore, because I wasted all the saktaha, all the words of Bala Sattaga wasted, Taruna Sattaga wasted, and Vritta, they are all the Chinda Sattam, all, all again in my past thinking. And now Parabrahman, what Satta I, I have? I don't have any. Huh? No Satta anymore. See, this is a situation. That is why we have to engage ourselves right from now. Bajagovindam, Bajagovindam. Kante Kanta. Kante means who? 
Kanda means your wife. Who is your wife, by the way? When you were born, did you did you also arrange everything by yourself? No. Who is your wife? And kaste putra ka. Kaste mean who? Who is your your son or daughter? Who is who is that? Did he bring everybody? Do you know know them before? And now when you are really going to leave this body, you know, are they also going to come with you? What kind of this thing is there? The samsara, and you have been born again and again and again. So many, so many sons, so many, so many daughters, so many, so many wives, so many, so many husbands and wives and fathers and mother, millions and millions and millions. You have forgotten all, all about those. And only for this one you are saying, oh, this is my son, this is my wife, this is my this husband, this is my... What kind of this thing is this? Birth, disease, old age, death. How many times they have gone through? You have gone through millions of times. This is the strange, is the samsara. Samsaro, ayamativa vichitraha. Vichitra means strange. Hmm. Very strange. What I am doing? So we have to be awakened. Yes, but the desis will don't have any time to awaken actually. At least those, you know, who are really poor countries like Nigeria and all, you know, remember. Because they have, they have sufferings. So they, they are awakening. And their engagement in bhakti is so, so high actually. Because of the suffering. Desis, they are enjoying. But the next birth... Where? They may be in Nigeria or Middle East, who knows? Wherever. See? Kate Kanda, who is your wife? Kaste Putraga, who is your son? Samsaro, I am Ativa Vichitraga. This is the strange, this samsara is strange. Then Kasye, Tuamka Kutta Ayataha. Who are you, by the way? Hmm? Kutta Ayata means where did you come from? And Kasye. Tuamka means, who are you? Who are you? Where were you? Where did you come from? And where are you going to go? Go also. Oh, brother. <laughs> brother, brother, boy, brother. Tattvam chintaya tadiya brother. Oh, brother, these kind of things you have to think about it. Then you are intelligent. Brother, ponder over these truths. See, this is very important verse, by the way. See, remember, I mean, you know, isn't it? What you, whatever he is asking is it's not real. Just this, this, this birth alone, we are thinking that this is the real. But this is one of the, the millions and millions of birth that we are going through. Nobody, nobody is going to come with us. Hmm? When we die, what will happen? There is a Tamil proverb there. Vidi vare uravu means because you know dead body, your dead body is now taken out for cremation. Your wife can come only up to the you know the, just outside the the house, just before going to the road. That car is going carrying. That's all the wife can come. Then she cannot come more than that. So, vidi vare uravu. Then kadu vare pillai. Kadu means that is the place where you will be will be burned or or, or or cremated or buried. That is kadu. Who is coming? Your son comes there. Only your son can come up to that. Then he does all these 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 ceremonies whatever, and he lit the fire or make the body to really be buried, and then he goes around and after that, finished. That's all. But who is going to come with you from there? Further? Anybody is going to come? Your wife is going to come? Your son is going to come? No. Maximum they could come was only at the place of cremation or burial. After that, they forget you. If at all they remember, maybe if the anniversary, the anniversary comes, they may probably may be able to give something, you know, remembering you. And if you are really so lucky, they may even fast for Egadasi and then offer to you. But that is, is not in your hand. <laughs> you cannot force them to do. Isn't it? 
oh brother think about all these things hari krishna Mahamandra is the supermost. Why it is called Mahamandra? It is the topmost. Maha means topmost mantra. This is the only one. 